Hey, Leanna, when you first started dating, I was so lost. But I saw Christ in you. I've loved you for as long as I can remember. So today I want to share my personal battles with you. Uh, Zach and Haley Anna have, have made it clear that tonight is not so much about them as it is about the one who's brought them together. And they have declared that this is going to be a house of worship tonight. So get prepared for that. Haley, as an imitator of Christ, you're to follow the example of Zach as he follows after God in his life. And in that way, you imitate Christ, not just to Zach, but to the rest of the world. Zachary, you're to love Haley just as Christ loved the church. It's a sacrificial kind of love. It's putting her needs before your very own. says, Misty, thank you for raising your son to be the man of my dreams. I want you to know there are parts of Haley's life that God is still refining. She is not perfect. And Haley, he too is a work in progress. He is not perfect. Why do I tell you that tonight? I see so many couples today who mistake their spouse for their Savior. But you don't need to complete each other or find your identity in each other because Christ has already done both of those things for you. And we should rest in that. I vow to love you like Christ loves the church. Fiercely, sacrificially, unconditionally, and forever. And it's why I sing your praise will ever be At this time, we're gonna invite family members who would like to come and pray over Zach and Haley. I wanna invite you to come now. I wanna promise you that as we walk into our future today, that we will always be together. I promise to love you for who God made you to be. I promise to believe in you like you believe in me. I promise I will never try to be perfect. And I promise I will never ask you to be perfect. He's a good guy. I mean a tremendous guy. I love you. I love you. You know what I've learned? It's easy in times of life like this to worship when you're on the mountaintop. But it's a lot more difficult to do that when you're in the valley. And God's promised you, you're gonna have both of these times. Remind each other the truth, because it's the truth that will always set you free.